Hi, in this video we'll learn you how to can, how you can put a new URL like this one for instance onto your Excel sheet. So we have an Excel sheet which is an, uh, a template, uh, for instance this one, and here I want to have my website uh, URL. Obviously uh, the functionality can work also inside a region, so if you want to repeat stuff with a, a list data source that is not a problem. To control the style of my hyperlink, I can just say I'm going to select the, uh, the cell. Um, I'm going to add a hyperlink here. So this is, I can just uh, search, add a hyperlink. Now for the address, I can just select NA, not applicable, because obviously my hyperlink will not be selected from here. And then click OK. So now the style hyperlink is set. Uh, if, I, if it's required, I can also modify the style. Just right click on the style select modify and then format here you can set other fonts different sizes underlines drag through effects font styles all the fonts you you want so you can just match it correctly with the rest of your documents okay and when that's done the uh, um, template is ready to upload let's take a look at the configuration so back into Salesforce, I can go to the configuration and I can say I want to add a config type. In the config type, there is now also the link config type. The data source is going to be the account, obviously. I want to say in this case, I want to have the uh, URL coming from an, uh, a field. Uh, I can also have a static URL, like for instance, that I type the URL but in this case we want to have a dynamic URL so we have to check this box over here and then we're gonna be able to select a field from the data source the same for the label you can have a static label huh? um, like for instance website or you can say well I want to have the name of the uh, the account over there so well, all is possible let's say that I want to have a static one over here so I'm gonna call this uh, uh, website Then the merge field is going to be the merge field that you just saw. So that was a we account website. So that's easy. I can just select it from the pre, uh, uh, pre selected from the list. And then, okay, I can save my configuration. Now with the configuration saved, I can go to my uh, generation part where in this, uh, config, uh, where in this components, I can generate my Excel and I will do so now. And then when the Excel, in this case, I decided to download the Excel. And in this Excel, you would see that the website is now present. Indeed, my website is present. It says the static text account website. And if I would uh, click it, then obviously I would go into the website. So it's, you see, the URL is the URL that I had in Salesforce.